actually to be that brave to just open up and express yourself and be wounded, you know, be like, okay, that's how it is. That's how I feel. So again, man, really awesome. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Powerful Reactions. Today's video is going to be a band that I had on my channel twice. Yes, two times. And one of the time, I think it was Popular Monster, that video somehow landed in front of Ronnie Rutgers' face, the lead singer of this band. This band is falling in reverse. And shout out to Ronnie Rutger, man, this is a really cool dude. Your fans actually texted me and told me that you constantly go on YouTube and watch different YouTube reaction channels reacting to your music. So really cool and I was a lucky one. That song was really fun to do, Popular Monster, especially the breakdown, man. That breakdown was just, I don't know what it was, man. Chainsaw in the background. Just completely madness, so I can't wait to react to this song. This song is called The Drug In Me Is Reimagined. And some of you told me that I should definitely include this song because it's part of a trilogy. This song, then drugs, and I guess, I'm not really sure, but maybe then Popular Monster. So these three are connected. And of course, this one is missing. So let's do this. But before guys want to do this, I need you to do something for me. Please go to my Teespring shop, check out my merch. You can buy everything you want. A cup of tea for the morning, leggings for the ladies, gym tank tops, hoodies for when it's colder, of course shirts, even stickers, and I guess some pillows as well. I add some cool designs. I appreciate it. A few of you already bought the metal Mozart, so I'm really thankful. All right, guys, here we go. And of course, thank you to all for your birthday wishes. I celebrated my birthday and um, and that was a blast. Thank you very much. Let's go. I heard a knock upon my door the other day. I opened it to find that staring in my face. The feel of mortal stalking still reverberates. I was not expecting that style to be approaching me. And this is really amazing. I wrestle with my thoughts, I shook the hand of doubt. Running from my past, I'm praying feet. Don't fail me now. Alright guys, so this guy, Ronnie Rutke, he's an artist, 100%. He's a real artist, 100% man. No, this is the third song that I heard by him. And each song was completely different completely unique and not just that it's a different tempo it's a different style i mean of course it's the whole band but right now in general him playing the piano and then his vocals it's just like he really covers each and every genre or you know taste in music that there is and that's really unique even the way he sang right now i mean it really sounds cool it sounds really really good and then these three persons moving down there. You know, I mean, if you take a look right now, everything, everything is just really cinematic, really artistic. Him right now standing here with snowflakes coming down in this forest. And then his voice. Really, really good, man. So far, falling in reverse, not a repetitive band at all. And I like that even more, man. You know, if you would take this song, turn it on and show it to somebody without saying it's pop uh, without saying it's falling in reverse and then right afterwards you're gonna put popular monster on they will definitely think it's two different bands but guys i'm pretty sure well i think at least we're gonna see a different change coming soon 
Let's continue. I lost my goddamn mind. It happens all the time. I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here. Trying to consume the drug in me. I think that's the third song, The Drug In Me Is You, right? I'm still missing that one. I've got these questions always running through my head So many things that I would like to understand If we are born to die and we all die to live I always love when he does that. He really makes you feel the whole song. That piano sounds awesome. himself the way he sings those lyrics really makes me i don't know i get goosebumps and not just really because the song is amazing but i feel like i'm him right now i feel like yes yes he's right you know what i mean he really portrays his emotion to others right now because it's so real you can tell he's really feeling it it's 100 percent honest and real and that makes the song amazing so amazing that I almost forgot to pause it and the song is almost over. That's what a good song does to you, I guess. Let's continue. Well, the way he sings those words, just so nice. But the change came. They just said something really good. Again. Even though he's really screaming hard and distorted, they actually loaded a bit down so it fits to that piano. Otherwise, I would be overtuning it. That was amazing.
Man, so artistic. Alright guys, that was it. Falling in reverse, the drug in me is reimagined. Kudos to Ronnie Rutger, man. Especially the way he sang and felt those lyrics. Man, uh, really unique. I'm not used to actually listen to songs like that because the majority of the songs nowadays, if it's if if they have a sad or really depressing meaning, a lot of times it feels like it's just made up. You know what I mean? It feels like you just have to write the song or perform the song, but it doesn't really click with you because you think, I'm not sure if he or she or they really feel the song. But in this case, again, man, you felt it right away. That song was not fake at all. That song was 100% real. And I appreciate it and have so much respect for those artists. Not only because the song then sounds amazing, but actually to be that brave to just open up and express yourself and be wounded, you know, and be like, okay, that's how it is, that's how I feel. So again, man, really awesome. And last but not least, what was almost the tip of the iceberg was just the whole video. The whole video clip was so artistic, so cinematic, man. So I don't know who came up with the concept, but again, heads off, man, that was amazing and it fit and suited that song, that meaning perfectly. Um, other than that, of course, the piano was on point. And at the end, we still got a little breakdown, something heavier, the whole band came in. So I really appreciated ending the song with the whole band. Really awesome. And even his voice at the end got a bit more metalish, a bit more distorted. But as I said, uh, at the end of the song, they did it in a way that it didn't really overpower the nice classic tone of that song, you know, the piano and stuff. So really cool, man. All right, guys, and I guess the other song the, is The Drug In Me Is You, right? Because I heard that title a few times. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's the third one I have to cover. Thank you very much. And it was a long time ago that I did my last Falling Reverse song. So here we go. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. Stay safe, take care, and um, let me know what songs by Falling Reverse I should react to next. Take care, bye bye.